Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? For those of y'all who've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for those of y'all who have no idea who I am, allow me to introduce myself for what is I says me, Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, check this out, right? This is like a huge debate. This is totally unscripted. I ain't writing no script for this or nothing. I'm just gonna freestyle all the top of the dome, right? Hey, look, man, a lot of people talk like, hey, what do you need, right? Do you need certifications or do you need a degree, right? Do you need a college degree? All right, and in my estimation, what I would tell you at the beginning of the video, yes, for both, all right? Now, I know that's gonna contradict what a lot of people are saying out there, but this is just my personal opinion. I'm allowed to have my personal opinion, right? All right, so basically, this is what I feel like, right? I related to the military, right? I'm in the military, right? So I'm not gonna use a bunch of jargon or anything like that, but I'm just gonna give you an example. In the military, you know, you, you have like promotions, just like on a regular job. But in the military, they give you a detailed list. They say, hey, if you wanna get promoted, do this, this, and this, right? You know, so hey, you know, make sure you score high on your physical fitness assessment. Make sure you take a couple college courses, right? Um, and make sure you might get an award or whatever the case may be, right? That, that way you can get enough points, promotion points, what we call, right, to get promoted. Some people do this, right? But some people won't. Some people will be like, uh, I don't feel like, you know, going to college or, hey, I don't feel like, you know, exercising and, and getting, you know, enough points on the uh, physical fitness test to score high enough to get promoted. Some people just say, hey, I don't feel like that, right? Which is their right to do. And I, I, I can respect their decision and everything they stand for, I got it. What I hate about that though, right, is when the other person does, right, and then they look at them like, hey, you know, Bob is not smarter than me, then why did Bob get promoted? You know what I'm saying? Or Jermaine can't do the same type of job as me, how come Jermaine has got promoted and I didn't? Because you didn't do shit, man. You didn't do shit. This is not Cisco Soldier talking to you right now. This is Uncle Trey talking to you guys. You gotta be a, a realist, right? Some people do, some people don't. It's only two categories. You have to separate and put yourself in the column of the people that do. It's that simple, man. It's that simple, right? And that's what I look at, like, so when it comes to me, right, when I look at, like, okay, certifications and job, right, certifications, I place a little bit more value on them than I do a degree, right, for the simple fact that that shows demonstrated knowledge that you are certified in a specific area right now to date, especially now since they put uh, time limits and parameters on them to say, hey, you have to renew your skills every three years. That's keeping you up to date of what's going on out there in society because things change all the time. I mean, you know, for all my gamers out there, there's a big difference between PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Like, you know what I mean? Think, a lot of things change. Now you got PlayStation 5 coming out. It's going to be huge changes right so you know technology phones man like if you look at you know 10 years ago the cell phone from 10 years ago versus the cell phone that like the flip phone and the cricket the chirping blah 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 to like what they have right now right so things change so you got to update your your skills and your resume i got that but i don't discount the degree and the reason i say that man is because a degree is like a certification that lasts forever number one then number two right going back to the point that out the example that i made to you guys it's like if you look at the hr machine right and it says hey need a bachelor's degree and this or need a bachelor's degree and that why not have the bachelor's degree why not like what's so wrong about that like what's so crazy about that like why just say ah, i don't feel like doing that you know what i'm saying to me, that doesn't make sense. If it's saying, hey, this right here can put you in another pay scale, another pay bracket, and the only thing that's gonna cost me right now is that the most dreaded thing in the world is called time. Remember, I told you this This is Cisco, so this ain't Cisco, so he's talking to you, man, this is Uncle Trey. Time, that's what people really don't have, to be honest. Everybody want everything right now, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, life don't work that way, man. Everything that you want takes sacrifice, you know, and takes struggle and it takes time. But the misconception that people have is like, you're gonna be waiting 10 years to do something. Like, it don't take 10 years, but it might take two. You know, you have to understand, two years, it sounds like a lot of time, it's not a lot of time. I mean, two years is a lot of time, like, you know, if 
you know, you in jail or something, it's, it's a lot of time. Or you like in Iraq or Afghanistan and, you know, nine months is, you know, you, it's a lot of time. I'm not talking about any of those people, right? I'm talking about like the regular people that's out there going to parties, going to work every day, coming home, living regular life, going to the kids, soccer game, football game, whatever the case may be, right? Two years is not a lot of time. Like if you are 20 years old right now, you look back, you can say, man, man, a couple years ago I was in high school. A couple years ago before that I was in middle school. Whatever the case. If you're 30, you can say, man, you know, I remember when I was uh, 21, man, I just reached legal drinking age. You know what I mean? I remember when I was taking my driver's test. Two years go by like that, man. So you just have to, you know, put it in perspective and, and don't be in a rush. That's easier to say, right? Like I could sit, I could sit back right now, you know, forty-year-old Trey, and be like, "Hey, don't rush, blah blah blah." But you know, did I have that type of Zen-like patience at um, twenty-one? Hell no, right? So I'm not, I'm not talking down to you. I'm not, you know, what I'm saying, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to say, guys, like, just put things in perspective and understand, like, hey, it's what do you want to do, right? If if you say, hey, you know, if you have a, a, a goal, you have a five-year plan, you say, hey, I want to be here in five years. Five years, you can change your life. Going into IT and, 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 and getting these certifications and building up your experience, you can change your life in five years. That needs to be the goal. Hey, five years from today, I'm going to be making six figures or fifteen to twenty thousand away from it. Man, if you're making twenty thousand dollars right now, thirty thousand dollars right now, and you making eighty five years from now, I, I I will say you you've jumped classes. You've jumped from the lower class to the middle class. You know what I'm saying? As, as defined by like, you know, Forbes, all them people say, hey, middle class is from seventy five thousand to, you know, hundred and fifty or whatever. So, you know, you just have to put that in perspective, man, and say, look, all right, What's the most important thing? You know, like I can just speak for myself. I'm going to wrap this up because I don't want to ramble. But like for me, that's why I chose a, a program like WGU, right, where I could get both at the same time. Because when I look at the job postings and the sites, they kind of ask for both. They say, hey, we want somebody to be Security Plus certified and have a bachelor's degree. I could just raise my hand like, uh, bam, check the block, man. It's, you know, regardless of what value – you say, you know, degrees are, you don't learn nothing, or you don't blah, blah, probably. You know, you learn a little bit, but, you know, if you don't use it, it's a perishable skill. It's like a certification. If you don't use it, it's perishable. You're going to forget it in, you know, six months to a year. You're going to forget a lot of stuff. However, like I said at the beginning, you know, my opinion, a degree is a certification that lasts forever. So why not just go ahead and knock that out and that's gone, like, Prime example, for those of you who graduated high school, can you remember studying and doing everything you had? Nah, it's over. Like you, you, that's years behind you. It's years past. So sacrifice the time right now. There go that word again. Mama, that that man is. Sacrifice right now and go ahead and knock out whatever you got to knock out, whether it be the CCNA, whether it be AWS, Microsoft certification, Amazon certification, whatever, or a degree. And you do that and it's over for life. That's it. You don't got to worry about it no more. Like, right, like, you know, I'm going to be 50 something. Like, hey, 39 year old Trey, I appreciate you for going ahead and finishing this degree plan. All right. And I'm done rambling. That's my thoughts. I appreciate y'all listening. It is I says me. Ah.